Good morning students. Today I shall discuss question number 13, 14, 15 and 18 in your book. The page number is 134 to 35. The chapter number is 5. That is a revision tool to MySQL. Now look at question number 13. It says name the function that can be used to display the current date of the database server. So the function use this current underscore date. The opening and the closing bracket says that current underscore date is a function. So simply type select current underscore date followed by semicolon in MySQL workspace. So let me do that. So just as I execute this command that is select current underscore date by clicking this flash like symbol, it will show me the current date in year month date format. That is the year 2020 is shown first followed by the month 11 and the day 26 at the end. So the current date, okay, as displayed in the output table is 2020-11-26. Now let's come to question number 14. It says write SQL statement to display the date in DD oblique MM oblique YYYY format. DD here represents the day mm here represents the month and yyyy here represents the year and the perfect example to display a date in dd mm yyyy format is this one 28 here represents the day 04 here represents the month called april and 2013 here represents the year now say for example if i wish to display the current date okay in ddmm yyyy format okay where the day comes first month comes second and year comes last i shall type the sql command like this that is select date underscore format and inside this function i shall put two arguments separated by a comma the first argument is the now function now now is that function which shall return our current date which is 26 11 2020 in our case and that date shall be represented it in this format that is percentage d specifies that the day should come first percentage m specifies that the month should come second and percentage y specifies that the year should come at the end for the date which is returned by the now function and keep in mind that the format should be enclosed within inverted comma now let me copy this SQL command and type it in my SQL workspace. Now before that let me put the appropriate inverted comma for this format. Now here is the command. So this command shall put the date that is returned by this now function in this format that is day month year format now the date that is returned by this now function is the current date okay which shall be converted into this format where the day comes first month comes second and year comes last now our current date is 26 11 2020 okay so that shall be converted into this format now let's execute this query see just as i click this flash button to execute this query okay the result we get is 26 oblique 11 oblique 2020 this is because 26 here represents the day okay as specified by this uh, symbol called percentage d followed by that we have a slash in the format that's why in the output also after the day you can see this slash symbol then again in the format after the slash symbol there is percentage m which specifies the month okay that's why in the output table you can see that after the slash symbol there is the month called 11 and again in the format after the month okay there is a slash symbol so again in the output you can see the slash symbol here after the month called 11 and then percentage y denotes the year okay so as 2020 is the year so 2020 gets displayed here as a result 26 oblique 11 oblique 
2020 is the date as displayed under the output column which is date underscore format with the two arguments now comma the format percentage d oblique percentage m oblique percentage y now say for example if i wish to change the date which is in year month day format into date month year format okay then for that let me put a date in year month day format here instead of this now function okay let me say the year is 2014 the month is 06 and the day is 13 okay now see this date is in year month day format where 2014 is the year 06 is the month and 13 is the day now if i am to convert this date into this format where the day comes first month comes second year and year comes last then in the output table i shall see 13 6 2014 that is 13 oblique 6 oblique 2014 instead of this representation so let me first copy this sql command and paste it in the mysql workspace okay but uh, before executing it let me put the appropriate inverted comma for the first argument and as well as the format as shown in the second argument okay so here it is this is the sql command let me click this flash like symbol to execute this sql command now see the date which was in year month day format okay is represented in day month year format in the output table you can clearly see here see the day 13 which comes last in the first argument is shown first the month okay 6 which comes second in the argument is also in second place in the output table and the year which comes first in the argument okay is shown at the end in the output table this clearly shows that 13 oblique 6 oblique 2014 is in day month year format okay and i hope you understood this so look at this query and the output for a while Now let's come to the next question that is question number 15 it says write a sql statement to show the current time of the database server okay now just as i have shown how to display the current date of the database server using the statement select current underscore date in the same way i shall use select car time okay this function to show the current time of the database server so this function car time shall display us the current time of the database server now for that let me first copy this sql command and paste it in the mysql workbench that is here and let me execute this command by clicking this flash like symbol so here it is the current time is 16 colon 19 colon 31 okay here 16 represents the time 4 pm 19 represents 19 minutes and 31 represents okay 31 seconds so this is the time under the car time column for this sql command select car time now let's come to the last question that is question number 18 the question says predict the output of the statement that is select round off the first argument is the number one two three four comma the second argument is the negative number minus two now if i happen to execute this sql command in my sql workspace i shall see the output 1200 okay now let me explain you how i got this output 1200 on executing this sql command now as the second argument for this sql command is minus 2 so i shall replace 
two digits from the rightmost part of this number called 1, 2, 3, 4 by 0. That means at first I shall replace the rightmost digit 4 by 0, okay, and then I shall replace the second to that digit that is 3 by 0. This gives 1, 2, double 0, okay. So minus 2 here indicates that two digits from the rightmost part okay shall be replaced by 0 which gives 1200 as the output for the number 1234 now let me execute this command in my sql workbench so for that let me copy it first and then let me paste it here so this is the SQL command let me execute this command so here it is the output shows 1200 okay for the column round of 1 2 3 4 comma minus 2 so I hope this is clear and with this I end my presentation here